Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to show you how you guys can get quickly started on AWS Glue Notebook with uh, Icebreak. Uh, before we begin I also want to let you know that Apache Xtable allows you to interrupt it between Hoodie, Icebreak and Delta. So no more worrying about which table format to use you can easily interrupt it with Xtable. So let's get started with a simple hands-on lab and uh, yeah let's rock and roll. All right, so I am on my AWS management console over here and you can head over to notebooks and then click on start fresh, select an IAM role and then you wanna click on create notebooks. This will take some time. I'll pause the video right here. Uh, just a quick note before we begin the exercise, the focus should be on the settings and the configuration used. That's the most important. We're gonna be doing a very basic hello world exercise, which is insert some data, update some data, delete some data, and basically do an update. So yeah, I am on my Jupyter notebook or Glue notebooks as you like to call. And then I'll basically delete all the cells over here and I'll basically start off, start off fresh. So the first thing that I want to do is I would set these configuration and I will explain you what I'm doing in a second. So first I'm going to set the notebook ideal timeout to 2880. I'll be using Glue 4.0, G1X and five workers are more than enough. Data lake formats, it could be hoodie, iceberg or delta, but this one we are doing iceberg. Uh, we will say we want to enable uh, Glue data catalog because we want to catalog our data in Glue Hive Metastore. After that, this is an important option right here hyphen hyphen iceberg underscore job catalog underscore warehouse and this is the path to your warehouse where your iceberg tables are gonna sit and these configuration that you see i will simply paste it into one more cell so you can read it a little bit here so these are the configuration that we're gonna use i have copied these configuration from aws blog post all right so first we're gonna execute the cell and this will you know make sure that uh, you know uh, the notebook will will soon start over here so I'm just gonna say okay and here you can you will see something called waiting for session to be created once the session is created we can start executing some basic commands all right so my session is finally created as you can see now I can start executing some basic commands so again let's do a very simple hello world right so that's that's the most easiest way in which we can learn anything right so first thing we will create a simple data frame object uh, for products and then here I will paste the code and then let me just do dot show. So this will make sure that I see the data frame on the console. And again, I, I have only five workers. I want to keep my cost minimum because I'm using my personal AWS account. But again, you can increase it to 10, 20, 30 based on your needs and the based on the amount of uh, uh, based on the amount of volume of data that you have. OK, so let me pause. It, it could take a while. So let me pause and resume it again once the data frame object is printed on the console. Uh, as you can see, I have a beautiful data frame on the console, right? Now, in order to write this data into Iceberg, uh, we can basically say df.product.write. We can choose the format as Iceberg. A mode, uh, either you can use append or overwrite. So, so here for the first time, I'm choosing an overwrite. Path, this is the path where it will basically create. And what this will also do, guys, is basically this is going to also create a table called products in your Glue Hive uh, Metastore. So let's execute. So this is going to write that data onto S3 as an iceberg table. So could take about a couple of seconds. So I'm going to again pause the video right here. All right. So looks like the write was complete. I can go ahead and verify that as you can see products and here I can see the data. Great, great, great. Um, yeah. Now you can, of course, read from that table. So you can say, uh, you know, spark.read.format and then you can provide the table name right here. As you can see, I'm able to read the data now. Now let's take a look at an update operation. So that's, I want to show you that. So let's say you have, you want to update the record number one, right? As you can see over here, right? This 001, right? This is a new incoming record, which is coming in. So now how do you basically do an update? Well, you can use something called merge into command. Uh, again, Apache hoodie has it. I, I believe Delta Lake also has it and iceberg has it too, right? So here merge into job catalogs. So before that, I just need to create a temp view. So over here, I am simply going to say this one. So this basically creates a temp view called product updates. And again, this is some data that's coming in. So now look how we do an update. Merge into job catalog default products as target using product updates. That's the table name that we are using, right? As source, 
we are joining that on the product id if it is a match meaning if this record is a match in the table then what do you want to do you want to update stuff right so uh, again we set these values and if it's not a match then you know it is it's an insert right and you just need to insert it right simple right so now i execute the cell and uh, after this is done i would again read the data from this table and i expect to see what you know i expect to see uh, this record number one to be changed right as simple as that so let me wait oh that was pretty fast okay here so as you can see that record has now been updated uh, on that uh, on the on the tail like well now also let's do uh, uh, probably a delete right so now i'm gonna delete the record number five over here so i'll execute the cell and then again what i'll do is i'll again read the data okay so again that cell has been executed and i can read that so i expect the record five to be gone you know now last but not the least i want to show you an append of course new data coming in you want to add the data right so again this is a new product uh, six which is not there in the data like at this point as you can see uh, over here right now what i will do is i want to simply perform an append operation so let me simply do this so i'm gonna say this is my new data that's coming in and then you, you look at here mode is gonna be append over here right so i'm gonna execute that and then again i'm gonna read the data from from that table i expect to see one two three four five is deleted and then the number six over here so yeah we basically did a simple hello world so it allows you to get started with iceberg pretty quickly uh, you know insert update deletes and upsorts right those are the simple thing that you need to know uh, now as a as a learning material i would say check out apache x table it will also allow you if you have iceberg and maybe you want to read into delta or hoodie it allows you to interoperate between the table uh, table formats with that being said keep smiling keep programming and i'll see you in the next video